so you did not run today, correct? I didn't. Did you? I wanted to, but I mean, my agent said my time was pretty good at the combine, and I didn't really need to run. And I talked sure. with Coach Glass uh, a couple of days ago. I was still trying to decide if I wanted to run the 40 or not. And they were saying my time was good enough. I had one of the fastest times there, and I didn't really need to run it. So I relaxed a little bit today and just kind of took it easy. Yeah, did, did a few uh, individual drills and that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, working with those guys, I mean, we was working with a little bit, uh, me, Dayton, Lowe, all the defensive backs in our group, we uh, worked a couple of days ago and uh, just tried to sharpen our techniques a little bit sure. and worked on the things that we needed improvement on. We all know you helped yourself with the combine. From watching some of your teammates today, do you, do you know of anybody who you think that guy really helped himself? Well, one thing that stood out to me, I seen uh, Dayton run his 40, and it looked like he was moving pretty fast. I still don't know his time, but I know he was uh, he was moving, so I'm anxious to see what his time was. It seemed like the, the NFL people, people who've talked to you today have been really complimentary, too, and assured you that good things are going to happen. Uh, I'm hoping so. Uh, I'm just playing along with it right now, being friendly with everybody, and uh, just trying to be the best person that I can be uh, throughout this whole process and hoping for the best come uh Come May. Do you ever imagine you have NFL coaches coming out just to see you train and get ready for all this? I've pictured this day uh, ever since I was a little guy. I mean, a little um, Pop Warner football player, and, uh, just playing at the next level in, in the National Football League, and it's finally about to be a dream come true. And uh, I'm just trying to stay prayed up and thank God for the many blessings He stored upon me. What's this process been like for you preparing for this? And Dealing with all this. It's been a day-to-day -day grind, day in and day out, waking up early in the mornings, eating right, uh, something that I'm not used to. I'm usually a junk food eater, fried chicken, Kool-Aid, drinking, and uh, lately I've been eating grilled chicken and drinking a lot of water and drinking Gatorade and protein shakes. So it's all been a work in progress, but it's something I've been able to maintain. Coaches in particular spoke to you today? Um, I think the Pittsburgh Steelers head coach. I think... Uh, yeah, Tomlin, and that may be the only one that I can recall. Today, given the fact that you didn't run, what were you trying to, to show? Uh, just the... I wasn't really trying to prove anything, just the consistency with uh, my backpedaling and hip turning and, and uh, ability to make plays on the ball and that I can do it over and over again. and. It's something that uh, I really look to improve on, and I, I feel pretty good about it. From what you've heard from other people, are you pretty assured you will go in the first round, or more so just hopeful? Um, from my standpoint, I'm hoping, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't want to really just say I am going because sure. if I do say I'm going, then it'll look bad on me if I don't right. go. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just praying, uh, praying, and I know my family's praying for me, and yeah. I'm just hoping for the best in the end.